morning kids. Today we're going to be knocking up some Weber beef all-purpose Tex-Mex sausages. Um, I'll give you a little recipe. Anyone that makes snags at home want to give it a crack, I highly, highly suggest you do it. The whole mathematicals and the bits and pieces will work for any meat seasoning you like. Um, it'll just be substitute the meat rub that I've used for the one you prefer. Uh, recipe works for chicken, pork, beef, lamb, cassowary, elephant, whatever you want. You ever, you ever seen a zonkey? Mate, America, you can have a zonkey. So if you've got a zonkey at home, you're gonna make sausages out of your zonkey, do it. So if you're doing this at home, you're gonna need a large bowl, a mincer, something to mix with, your hands. Uh, you're gonna need your seasoning, you're gonna need your meat, your extra herbs and spices, you're gonna need some curing salt, you're gonna need some rice flour, potato starch, wheat flour, soy flour, whatever flour you like. You need some form of hydrated flour, bread, whatever, to help bind, soak up the fat, and keep your snag moist. Um, what else? What else am I gonna need, As? Love. Yeah, love, and a sausage filler. Um, you can use hog casings, sheep casings, or you can go and find yourself some, uh, some manufactured collagen casings. They're all gonna work. Um, I used pretty big sheep casings today on these, just as what we had laying around. No, well, there you All go. Right, kids, first up, you're gonna need some meat. You're gonna need to mince that once. I used brisket trim at sort of like a 15% fat ratio. Um, that is your seasoning there. What you're gonna need to do for your seasoning is obviously you need total meat weight. Um, by that, you will need 85 grams of your favorite seasoning or meat rub per kilo of meat. You'll need 0 0.02 grams of curing salt per one kilo of meat. You will also need an extra, I don't know, splash of onion, pepper, salt, garlic, whatever you want to add on top of that. And then for 10 kilos of meat like I had, you're going to then make that up to one kilo with your flour uh, of choice. Whatever you choose, doesn't matter. All you're going to do is basically get your meat, weigh it, mince it, mix your required seasonings, right? Put it with your meat, mix it, Right, once you, your seasoning right, is all mixed through the meat, you're gonna to need to add some water. So for 10 kilo of meat, I use one liter of water, or in this case, I used milk. I like to add full fat milk to some of my sausages, especially for smoking. Um, keeps them plump and full. Um, so I used a 10 kilo batch, so you can just divide these totals by whatever you need for your total weight. So I'll say it again, it will be 10 kilos of meat, one liter of milk, I'm going to need 85 grams per kilo seasoning, 0 0.2 grams curing salt per one kilo of meat. Then you're going to need your added seasonings, and then you're going to make that up with your flour to one kilo for 10 kilo of meat. Anyway, let it mix. You're going to need to let this mix until it's all emulsified, all stringy, all that sort of good gear. Obviously, I'm going to cut this short because there is no need for you to watch that. It takes ages. Basically, you want it to stick to the palm of your hand like glue. Um, you want it to stick to everything and be an absolute pain to get off. Um, yeah, so there you go. Cut it short for you. You will see me now mince that out into a bucket. And this is what it should look like coming out of your second mince. Now you want to mince twice for your typical you know, Australian style. Um, yeah, just make sure your meat's as cold as possible so your little mince are home and cut clean. Now this is obviously a, a large hydraulic filler. You probably won't have one of these at home. If you do, you're doing good. If not, your hand crank will do the same. Um, I just used a sheet casing. So I'll run these out of the bucket, they're hydrated, yeah. then I'll run a bit of water through the skin. Hell yeah. And then obviously I'll squeeze the water out, wait for the meat to come up the top of the filler, dance around like a clown, do do do. Anyway, here we are, meat. Get the meat out, there it is. Oh, 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 oh. Touching cotton, there it is. Anyway, right, so you gotta fill these pretty tight. You don't want much air in there. Um, Fill them as tight as you can without bursting the skins. Take your time, you'll be fine. Um, yeah, so do that, tie them up. Um, let them hang if you can in your fridge or if not in a container overnight and then cook them up. Uh, I'm probably just gonna do these like a barbie snack. You can grill them off or you can smoke them. You can do whatever you'd like with them. So like I said, it's a pretty all purpose recipe. Um, yeah, it is easier for you to do a 10 kilo batch, less math, Right, it's round, it's just, with the curing salt, they should keep five days in your fridge, providing you've kept everything cold. 
Um, and with a 10 kilo batch, they do freeze well. Don't worry about back sealing them. Once they're tied and they've hung up in your fridge or in a tray in the fridge overnight, split them up. Vac seal them if you want to, and they'll last a bit longer in your fridge. If not, put them in freezer bags of 6, 12, 24, whatever you want. Wrap them in paper, label them and put them in the freezer. Wrapping them in paper, stop them in the freezer burn, they'll keep a lot longer. Anyway, cheers. Yeah. 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 Yeah.